What's up, YouTube? This is for Trey Port with this morning with a special edition to you guys. So really quick, we're going to go over this just to go straight out to the point. You know, we do have this. Uh, we're going to go with this technicals and analysis and of a couple of fundamentals from this company that was brought to my attention, guys. So uh, the ticker is going to be SHOT shot. It's a safety shot. You know, I actually trade this one in the past. And it, 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 it probably some of you guys did in the past too, but this one actually had a quite a move. Oh, it went to 30 cents all the way to like seven dollars ish. So that was quite a move now. But now it came to a time that has been with a huge, huge giant trend right now. And it started to give in some signals of a potential reverse, right? This could be in a short term wise, of course. But let me tell you why. So a couple of days ago, first of all, six days ago, five, six days ago. They announced a very strategic partnership, right? Which seems to be uh, one of the distributors. Distributors. So, you know, thinking about is if they're going to start, you know, distributing the product, obviously that's going to be more, you know, more attractive for investors, for traders to, you know, to put their money into it. But lately, the last thing that just came out into them is the President Jordan, he missed one million through a private placement. Now, when then when that news came out, I did not see any movement at all, right? I mean, I barely see any movement. So I was watching it, and now I'm thinking about it. We could potentially have some move through the week, right? Because, again, the ball has been increasing. You know, like we seem to be hitting to that bottom part. And, you know, based on the charts, this is what we call a, a falling wedge, right? We are right at the peak of the falling wedge, meaning that it seems a breakout seems to be imminent. But the thing is, it can really move both directions, right? This is why we're going to look for confirmations, right? Now, for those confirmations, we're going to see the specific levels. So looking at the four-hour chart, you see how we do have this buying pressure increasing. So, of course, that is attractive for us. But what we really look to look is for these breakouts. So mainly right now, we ideally, we want to we want to close about the 20 minutes and 60 minutes and then break that 124 previous highs. And that will take us to the 1.37 uh. 200 EMA, or potentially, if we also see on the daily chart, we got quite the room for that previous resistance that we have in the past, and that is sitting currently at 1.43. So, you know, we got almost 20 cents, 30 cents, uh, you know, reservoir here, considering that we do have the breakout, right? So, obviously, I'm going to keep an eye on this one, this, you know, tomorrow, this morning. See if he does what he does. You know, remember, we look for confirmations that we don't have the breakout and there's no trade, right? I mean, it's only 40 million float stock. And and the bottom is just been slowly, slowly increasing. So I'm you know, just keeping an eye on this one again in case we do have a move. You know, we're being oversold for some good amount of time. It's been beat down for some good amount of time. So the fact that we actually, you know, accumulated some couple news, couple PRs, uh, you know, we can even have a probably small move, you know, just for a kind of recovery, right? So... Keep on this one, guys. And again, I'm going to be guiding and sharing all the updates in the fucking community. So, again, if you want to be part of the team, you know, join up. It's going to be the link is going to be in the description, guys. But then, again, I wish you guys the best week. So, keep an eye on this one and obviously keep an eye on the rest of the setups that I mentioned. But tomorrow should be a great day. This morning should be a great morning so far. All right. So, be safe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.